Land is critical to all we do in life. Land is indeed for food, for shelter, and for other economic activities critical to the well-being of man. Without doubt, land is recognized as a factor of production. Any student of history knows without doubt that particularly in Africa, land is regarded as the wealth of the people. Governor Dakwa Abiodun of Ogun State recently set up a commission of inquiry on land allocation and documentation to review all land transactions and documentation in the state from June 2011 to date. Governor Abiodun appointed seven-man committee with Justice Solomon Olugbemi retired as the chairman. The other members are C.P. Edward Awolowo Ajogun, retired, Barrister Adetunji Onobanwu, Seveo Oyebanji Akinhomi, Estes Seveo and Valua Toyin Aluko, Mr. Oluwashiun Aboluwari. Others are Mr. Emmanuel Oyekunle and James Olubankole Mafe Esquire as the secretary to the commission. At the inaugural sitting of the commission, held at the Ministry of Justice Conference Room at Okemoson, Abeokuta, the State Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, Mr. Oluashino Ogungbade, SAN, said there is a need to clear all illegal land dealings in the state to further pave way for economic development and create a conducive environment for investors to thrive. This very important responsibility. Um, as we all know, as stakeholders in the state, that um, perhaps the greatest asset of the state is land, um, which has even been made more important by virtue of our proximity to the economic capital of Nigeria, which is Lagos State. And this has made Ogun State a an attractive location for investors. But in order to have a conducive environment for investors, we should have a system that is transparent and allows for the ease of uh, doing business. Since my assumption of office as the Attorney General I have received, almost on a daily basis, complaints from members of the public relating to land matters and particularly land documentation in the state. So in order to ensure that the state gets maximum returns from what it has, the His Excellency the Governor of the State, Prince Nakwabiodo, decided to set up this commission and I it is our expectation that the public and particularly the litigants will cooperate with this commission and also members of the bar who will be here to present petitions on behalf of their clients will also cooperate. Mr. Ogungbade said facts about land matters would be revealed as committee members are ready to follow proceedings to get to the root of all petitions seeking maximum cooperation from all parties involved. I can assure the public that this is not a witch hunt. It has not been set up to go after anybody. The overriding interest is the well-being of the citizens of the state because if the state is able to get maximum returns from its resources, then that will translate down not only to indigenous of the state but also residents of the state. So I welcome everybody to um, this sitting and um, let me close by once again asking for maximum cooperation from everybody. The Commission's Chairman, Honorable Justice Solomon Olugbemi, retired, stated that the assignment is to unravel any wrongdoing in land allocation and documentation in the state within the stipulated period, adding that the exercise is not meant to which hunt any group of people, association, corporate body, or individuals. Uh, as the Secretary of the Commission has said, or has told you, 
we have our terms of reference, which he has read out. And we do intend to adhere strictly to the terms of reference. And as the Honorable Attorney General has said, this commission has not been set up to front anybody at all. No names, no particular names have been given to us to go after. Uh, there is no vindictiveness, there is no uh, witch hunting of any kind. We will adhere strictly to the terms. And if you listen to the terms read out, the key feature in those terms is illegality. And we are to uh, unravel or look at any illegalities at all because every one of us in the state is entitled to uh, to own land. And indeed, uh, by the uh, provisions of the Land Use Act, Justice Olugbemi said the commission will find out, make necessary recommendations to government, and thereafter read out the rules of engagement during the proceedings to ensure orderliness. The governor of the state is holding the whole land in the state in trust for the citizens of the state. So we are all co owners of land in the state. So um, there's no way we will say anyone is not entitled to own land, but if there are illegalities in the allocation or management of land by the various uh, ministries and agencies, we will try to find out and we will try to make recommendations to curb such illegalities in future and to ensure that uh, the objective for which this commission is set up is achieved. That is, to ensure smooth running of these uh, MDAs and for ease of doing business in the United States and of course to make life easier because you know land is a very important factor of production. Even though it's not a court of law, there are certain rules that we have to adhere to so that uh, there will be orderliness in the proceedings. Number one, um, anybody coming to give, anyone coming to uh, give evidence here or to be a witness should ensure that he does not give false evidence, uh, no false witnesses, uh, because that itself is an infraction of the law. And uh, if anyone does that, well, even though this is not a court, we can make recommendations for the trial of such a person. Uh, again, if the commission calls anyone to come and give evidence. Such a person has no right of refusal. Also, there should be no threats to witnesses. Nobody should threaten any witness at all. If anyone does that, it's an infraction of the Commission of Inquiry Law and uh, it's liable to punishment as well. Again, contents, well, it's not a court, this is not a court, but um, that can be contemptuous acts. If we are all careful, there will be no problem at all. But for those who are not careful, um, they should be mindful of the fact that uh, this commission has a right to uh, commit anyone disrespecting or insulting or threatening the commissioners. The state chairman, Ogun State Branch of Nigeria Bar Association, Mr. Camille Aboladé, in his remark at the inaugural sitting, commended the state government for setting up the commission which he described as a child of necessity. I have not had rumors in the room. So that's why I'm particularly happy that this commission can the NBA chairman said he believes in the integrity of the commission and urged the public to come up with their petition without any fear of molestation. I also believe in the integrity of the members of the commission and I'm appealing to the public to come forward and to not nurse any fear about 
about any victimization or harassment from any quarter. Setting it up is something that will benefit every citizen of the state and even people outside of the state. And I'm sure that by the time the recommendations are submitted to the government, there will be an improvement in the ways things are run in the bureau. Lastly, I would say that the members of the commission itself should not have any fear also about the security of their lives. I know the chairman has been a judge and the, I'm very sure there will be no reason for the Lord to have that fear because we know that people may tend to interfere, disrupt and um, God forbid attempt make attempt on their lives, but I'm assuring by the grace of God, God will protect you and you will do the job as we expect. The Secretary of the Commission, James Olubankole Mafe Esquire, said the Commission has received 56 petitions so far and seven of them will be dealt with at the inaugural public sitting. The line with the terms of reference of, that has been given to us by His Excellency, it includes to unravel the circumstances surrounding the rampant illegal land transactions that have been unraveled in the state land allocation MDAs, to identify and unravel all illegal land transactions that have taken place from the 1st of June 2011 to date, to identify all perpetrators involved in any discovered illegal land dealings, to receive and investigate general complaints from the public around land acquisition and documentation in Auguste, to make recommendations to call bottlenecks, delays, and corruption in land acquisition and documentation in Auguste. Also to unravel various sums of money involved in illegal land dealings, identify the value of government loss and recommend methods of recovery. Also to recommend necessary punishment to be meted out to every person and persons. To suggest ways to call or forestall or reoccurrence of an identified of any identified illegalities and inefficiencies and finally to make any other suggestions and recommendations that could assist the state government in all other related matters. In carrying out this task, the Commission has, as of today, received 56 petitions from the members of the public, and this morning we'll be dealing with seven of the petitions as listed on the cost list. Some of the cases attended to have these proceedings. You are saying that uh, the lands already, I mean, owned by your members, some of the land have been acquired by government subsequently, is it? Yes. Yes, sir. So all these things, we need to know the details. Then you are talking about impracticable amounts to regularize their land, you know, that government is asking for impracticable, that's the way you put it. Yes, sir. And you said uh, some of the land acquired for development control, uh, acquired for development control purposes, have been sold to other investors. That's another accusation. Yes, sir. So, we need the details. We need the details of this, and uh, I mean, before we'll be able to do anything. We should be able to put our documents to this commission in two days. To come back, but we will submit, we will have submitted before, well before then. If they are calling you to come and get phone for ratification, the ratification 
must be based on something. If you have title to your land uh, without any encumbrances, the issue of asking you to come for education will never, legally speaking, arise. So, as far as I'm concerned, the issue of whether that community is under opposition or not is very, very crucial. So, it is now what we require from you now is to tell us is the place, did you discover that the place was under acquisition or not? Because that is the, that is the springboard for all what you've been saying and talking about. And mind you, from your own petition, there are two classes of uh, occupants. Because when you all come under this uh, city association, city association is those association of those who are living there, not just association of uh, even uh, landowners. Some boats, some are living in their ancestral land as original owners. So, some from, are tenants. And some are even tenants. So, at the end of the day, what is the status for that community as far as issue of acquisition is concerned? We want this honorable commission to assist us, to allow us to regularize our title documents. So that we will leave. Your time documents are irregular. Uh, uh, <laughs> you want to regularize it? Just uh, what, what I mean by regularization is for us to obtain necessary documents from government. Since the said acquisition is meant for residential purposes, and we are already occupied residents of the area, we yeah, fully develop. It was properly acquired. Are you aware that the petition was written in respect of parcel of land yes. you sold to them? Yes. How do you know them in respect of this petition? Momo, Momo, you Momo, talk of the you go go. As land has been adjudged perhaps the most important natural resources of the state, it is important that its allocation, documentation and management are given the best attention needed to ensure its optimum utilization for the benefit of all the citizens at the attempt to guarantee inclusive governance and prosperity of all that concerned. Igbega Ekmele Ogun, Adjoshe Wani.